Hi, I'm a pro video editor. I've used tons of different mouses for video editing. And this is by far the best mouse I've used for video editing. Whether you've been or currently using a cheap mouse you've bought on Amazon or the common MX Master 3 mouse. After discovering this new mouse also from Logitech, I can't go back. With 11 programmable shortcuts, including two left click shortcuts to quickly jump to the beginning or end of a clip, convenient side buttons to nudge a clip up and down on your timeline, and two more side buttons to nudge a clip one frame either forward or backwards. This is the Logitech G602 mouse and it is a game changer. Another option is the G604 if you have the budget, only changes a different feel on the scroll and side buttons, but either way, you could get the G602 or G604 mouse on Amazon or eBay. And if you're wondering, do I really need to upgrade my mouse at all? Yes, you absolutely do. You want your mouse performing well, just like you need your hard drive to be fast enough to edit off as well. Because if you're not editing with good equipment, it's not very professional and it's not even very enjoyable. So let's check out the Logitech software that comes with this mouse and also Premiere Pro to show you how this mouse completely transformed my editing workflow for the better. So to make sure this mouse is ready to go for video editing, physically on the actual mouse, we have this switch activated to performance mode, not eco mode, we don't really care about the battery life. It's so good anyways, I don't even think about it. And so inside the Logitech gaming software, as you can see, this is how I configured my mouse. Made sure the DPI sensitivity levels is max all the way to five. And like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna customize these six shortcuts on the side of the mouse and also these two on the front for when we're actually editing inside Premiere Pro, it's gonna speed up our workflow tremendously. I really love this. So this first top left shortcut, right alt plus right, right alt plus left, right alt plus up, right alt plus down. Those four ones are probably the most important and what goes really well as well is this up and down on these shortcuts by the left click. Something I found really helpful is using the scroll wheel as a backspace. And so opening up Premiere Pro, this is what that's gonna look like. Now, if you ever needed to move a clip one frame to the left, if I'm scrubbing through my project, I'm seeing these clips, I wanna alter the cut a little bit, just a couple frames. This is the normal, long, exhausting, annoying way you would have to do it without changing your mouse. Try to click and drag my clip and move it a couple frames. If you're zoomed out, it's impossible to move one or two frames. But now that I've programmed my mouse, even if I'm zoomed all the way out, if I have the clip highlighted using the G7, G4 shortcuts that I have on the mouse, I can move it one frame, one frame at a time, and quickly get the timing looking better really easily. And with the G8 and the G5 shortcut on the mouse, you can nudge your clip up and down on the layers, easily up and down. So I don't have to click and drag and waste time. That specifically is one of my favorite features because I have a lot of layers and graphics on my projects and that speeds up my workflow tremendously. Another thing when you're just going through your rough cut and you're just speed editing, something that's super useful are the G10 and G11 shortcuts on the left click mouse. Now make sure your layer is selected and then you can easily skip to the front or the end of it. If you're editing a large project, this is gonna speed up your workflow tremendously. Those extra shortcuts on this mouse allow you to keep your left hand on the keyboard and your right hand at the mouse, which makes it faster, makes you not have to switch up, break your rhythm for editing. And if this is your passion or job, if you do this hours every week, using this professional mouse and workflow is a game changer. I highly recommend it. I mean, I can't go back. I hate editing on any other mouse, even if it's the MX Master 3 and all the other video editors that I know that use this mouse personally really enjoy it as well. So whether you want to get the G604 or G602, I have Amazon links below, or you can check out eBay as well. Those Amazon affiliate links are going to help out the channel. If you do get the G602 specifically, I also added the specific version of Logitech software gaming. Uh, that I use. That way you have the compatible version for you can switch those shortcuts. And that's it, this kind of specific video for professional video editors that just wanna make their workflow better, but also more enjoyable. You know, like upgrading your RAM or editing off the of SSD or faster hard drive. So I hope I helped a couple video editors out there. If you did enjoy this video, please like, subscribe to the channel for more video editing tutorials, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, cheers.